dealing with workplace politics gracefully is a challenge that most professionals face at some point in their careers. I think it's safe to say it's impossible not to encounter office politics, but a disastrous outcome can be avoided. Few of those points that I'm about to mention will also come in handy. Manners on the go. Welcome to Matters on the Go again. I trust you've been minding your P's and Q's. I'd like to continue from where we left off last week, especially after gleaning from the valuable insights I got from the comments about the last video. In case you missed it, I'm glad to drop the link in the comment section. It seems pretty much valid that quite a number of us who work in an office space have in one way or the other had our share of workplace politics. And to everyone who took out time to share their experiences and now they were able to gracefully navigate it without balking, I genuinely appreciate you. Remember, I mentioned that having a goal in mind while setting out to work is important. But it is also essential to make sure that your professional goals and attitude aligns with the values and goals of your workplace, as well as this helps guide certain behaviors. Few of those points that I'm about to mention will also come in handy. Counting from last week, number six, avoid gossip and negative talk. Believe me when I say this, you don't want to get yourself involved in this because engaging in gossip or participating in damaging discussion about colleagues only fails workplace politics and mars relationships. Instead, focus on positive conversation and discussion centered on professional growth. You may ask, what if a gossip is brought to my table? How do I handle this? First of all, you should learn to set yourself up in a way that gossips are not brought to your table in the first place. People don't just go around discussing things with just anyone. They go to people they know their energy would match. When it is known of you that your energy isn't meant for gossiping, they'll still clear of you. If they choose to bring it to you regardless, politely show your lack of interest by saying, Oh, as much as I'd like to have this conversation, I won't be able to because of the deadlines before me. That way, they'll know you are not in for the chit chat without feeling completely awful. Number seven, focus on results. In highly political environments, it is essential to focus on producing excellent work and achieving results. By consistently delivering high quality outputs, you will earn the respect and recognition of your colleagues. And this can pretty much insulate you from the negative effects of office politics. This doesn't take away negative office politics, but it gives you a leverage over it. Remember that your performance and abilities should speak for themselves rather than relying solely on political maneuvering. Number eight, seek guidance from mentors. Having a trusted mentor or seeking guidance from respected colleagues can be an invaluable resource when dealing with office politics, especially when it involves a superior or older colleague that you wouldn't want to disrespect. Your mentor can provide insights and advice to help you navigate complex situations, ensuring you remain professional and ethical in your dealings. Don't underestimate the power of a mentor because you not only get to share a burden with them, but you live with more insights on how to resolve the issue. And lastly, number nine, practice emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, including self-awareness, self-regulation, empathy, and social skills are keys to handling workplace politics gracefully. By understanding and managing your emotions as well as deciphering the emotions of others, you can effectively communicate and collaborate without resorting to negative political behaviors. Mastering the intricacies of the workplace political terrain may appear formidable, yet much of it revolves around addressing basic social instincts inherent in all of us. Dealing with workplace politics gracefully is a challenge that most professionals face at some point in their careers. I think it's safe to say it's impossible not to encounter office politics, but a disastrous outcome can be avoided. Remember, success is not solely based on political maneuvering, but also on skills, expertise, and ethical conduct. So if you found this video useful, please share with your friends. Remember to like it, and I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. See you again. Goodbye.